hey guys so welcome back to another tutorial and today i'm going to show you how you can migrate your wordpress website to hostinger and this tutorial will work with for any hosting existing hosting provider you just need to have uh, access to the wordpress admin area so if you have if your current website is hosted on siteground bluehost hostgator namecheap or any other company um, this tutorial will work for you okay so let's start and the first thing we have to do is uh, go to your existing website so this is my website bestwpdemo.xyz uh, go to uh, dashboard okay from here first thing we will do is create our uh, take a backup of all everything all our files and stuff so for this we will need a plugin uh, go to plugins here then click on add new okay and search for my Migration and duplicator. Okay, I will also provide a link to this in the description, so make sure to check that. And there are a lot of plugins, so it might be confusing. So, this is the plugin by Web Toffee we need. So, just install it. And okay, it has been installed, then activate it. It's really easy, uh, very simple, and easy to manage so then on the left sidebar here you will see this option wordpress migration okay so now um, just do not uh, make any changes just simply click on this option export so depending on your website size um, it will take a few minutes to a few seconds to create the export file okay so you can see the export file has been created and uh, it will auto start to auto download so um, just uh, let it download let the download complete and now um, so it has been completed and then just open it to verify that everything is in there properly okay so the thing we will look for is uploads so make sure this sql file is there this is will be our database so theme plugin and caching everything is here okay so just a tip for you guys if you have a security plugin i would advise you to you know temporarily disable it uh, so it may it do not cause any issue later so you know sometimes some security plugin will not allow you to log in after migrating your website so if you face that issue you can uh, you know just disable it and then create the export again so we have created our export now let's move to next step so the step two is to buy hosting uh, hosting so for this you will have to follow this url smarthelpguides.com slash hz i will also put this in the description and this is an affiliate link so if you buy hosting with this you will not have to pay anything extra you will get a extra discount on top of the existing discount you are getting so hostinger has provided me a special coupon code for my audience so i will also provide that in the description and you also help and support my channel and uh, you know this is how i can create free tutorials for you so please uh, if you want you can buy ho uh, hosting from my affiliate link okay so now scroll down and here you will see all the wordpress plans of hostinger so i would recommend you to go with the business wordpress plan because if you're expecting decent traffic then this is the plan i would recommend anyone to go for um okay sorry i missed another step on this page um change you can select your country okay so depending uh, depending on the country you select the currency will change for example if i select uk then it will automatically load this page and uh, you can see the currency has changed okay so i would recommend you to change uh, the location okay and then um, check the plans so my recommended plan will be business wordpress plan uh, but if you want you can go with the wordpress starter plan also if you are just creating a blog a small website like that okay but uh, please do not use the single wordpress plan because it will give you a lot of headaches uh, the resources on this plan will be too low so your website will be frequently down okay so now let's uh, select the plan and click on add to cart 
just for the demo purpose i am going to buy a one month plan uh, because i do not really need it and then select the duration so for the tutorial i'm going to select this one month but uh, you can select this plans okay so right now you can see you are getting 70 percent discount okay 58 percent 43 percent depending on how long you want to buy this hosting for so if you have followed my uh, affiliate link you can use my exclusive coupon code best wp guides okay and then click on this plus so it will work if you have followed my uh, coupon uh, affiliate link before so now you can see the prices have further reduced by using this exclusive coupon code best wp guides okay so now um, you can select the duration you want to buy for you can see the price will change drastically okay so it will also depend on the your country and currency you have selected so i will select one month just to show you how to migrate your website and make sure that you unselect every any other extra things like this if it is selected okay so now what you have just review it and then click on checkout okay now if you do not have an account with hostinger um, so you will have to sign up for here like this and then click on create account and checkout so on this page you will see all the different payment methods available in your country okay so just um, select the cards or any other payment method you would prefer and complete the payment okay Easy. just click on start now and from here you will see that uh, you want to because we are migrating our website so we already have our domain so this is the domain bestwpdemo.xyz i will copy it from here and select this option use an existing domain so i will put uh, my paste my existing domain uh, just remove everything else uh, all slash and everything just keep your domain in here then click on continue okay. and again click on continue okay so here um, do not select this option migrate my website uh, instead select this option okay build a new website so we can migrate our website ourselves and uh, this is a much better way so let's select it so now um, this will be your email so i will just edit my email okay so this should be your gmail id or whatever email id you are using and have access to now select the password so I will just pick a random password here and then copy and paste it and then click on continue. Now skip this because we do not want to because we want uh, to migrate our website and click on this option skip I do not don't need a template. Okay so now um, here you will have to again verify that the domain name you have uh, typed properly so make sure everything is correct and spelling is correct and you can change the location of the server so there are multiple locations hosting offer for example you can see so there are two locations in europe one in north america and one in singapore so you can select either of these options okay so i will pick uh, all or the united kingdom so i'll put, uh, put, uh, so i will pick Netherlands and then select it. Okay, so you can see the location has changed now. So pick the location which is closer to your audience. And then uh, we are going to install WordPress, then click on finish setup. So now this will take few seconds for the setup process to complete. So I will just uh, fast forward this part. okay so you can see here um the setup process is complete and it is showing that uh, you're almost there and we have to update our name servers okay so to update the name servers 
um, you will have to follow different instructions depending on which domain registrar you are, you are using okay and because most common domain registrar to uh, GoDaddy and Namecheap so I have subscribed to their service and paid for it so just to show you this so I will show you how to do it for this two domain registrar and if you are using any other domain registrar like Google domains or something um, you can post in the comments and I will help you to update the name servers. Okay, so let's learn how to do it. And you will have to simply copy this name servers and paste it there. So I will just copy it from here and go to GoDaddy and log in to your dashboard. From here, go to My Products, and then from here you will see your domain name. Uh, click on this three dots. Click on Manage DNS, and from here just scroll down. And click in the on in the name server section click on change and again scroll down and uh, in, here you will see this option enter my own name servers advanced so here you will have to paste those name servers okay ns1 and ns2 okay I'll suggest you you directly copy this use the copy function and paste it here okay and then click on save and for name cheap you will have to go to log into Namecheap. I uh, will show you the dashboard here. Go to the domain list. From here, select the correct domain and click on manage. And here you will see this name server section. Again, select custom DNS here. Okay, and then um, copy and paste the DNS name servers from here. So I have already done that uh, when I paused the video. Okay, so you have to again simply paste it here and then you will see this tick option. Okay, so I will then click on tick the save. Okay, so you can see this confirmation notification here. DNS server update may take up to 48 hours. Okay, so this is why I paused the video and completed the steps so I can show you. Okay, because you will have to wait for a few hours till the DNS propagation uh, completes. So after you have done that okay just wait for a few hours and then click on this option okay manage site so it will open a new tab hosting a panel and from here click on this hosting and click on manage okay so it will show you if the after the domain uh, name server updating process is complete you will see there is no notification here on the top here that the domain is not pointing to hosting the servers so if the domain propagation is not complete then you will see a, a notification in red here that the process is not complete okay so you will just have to wait for a few hours and then refresh this page to see if the notification is gone and it's working okay so from here now click on this option let's see if our we can access our domain so you can see here that uh, it is showing that uh, this account has been created so what I will do is now let's go to panel again here and we are unable to since access the WordPress so we will install the WordPress again just scroll down and in the auto, click on auto installer and then click on Word, uh, WordPress and select it okay so let's select it I will I want the HTTPS we can change that later let's install it on HTTP now so this is it and uh, I will not enter anything here overwrite existing so okay just create an administrator password here so this is the password I earlier selected let's paste it again and okay, just make sure the username you can change all uh, these settings later also then click on install it needs a website ID so just create demo because we will migrate our website so all the settings will be changed automatically anyway so then click on install okay so the WordPress installation is complete and now let's click on this and see if we can access our website okay so you can see it has been installed demo just in the wordpress website and it's loading blazing fast 
Let's go back to the panel here and click on those three dot options and you will see more options here. So you can directly access the admin area from here also. Just click on manage and then click on edit website. So this will redirect you directly to, to the WordPress admin area. Okay, so we are logged in. And um, so now let's complete the migration process and import our old website. So go to plugins, click on add new. And from here, search for the same plugin migration. Oh, sorry, yes, migration. And okay, this is the plugin we need WordPress migration and duplicator. Click on install now. Then activate it. So it has been activated. Then again, go to the left sidebar here. Click on WordPress migration option. Then go to the import tab here. Then upload the file we earlier exported. So click on this option, select files. From go to downloads and this is select the file. So depending on your file size, it may take a while to upload it. So far it was quick. And let the upload process complete. Okay, so it may take a second. Then click on select. Okay, so now you can see it has been uploaded. Then click on import. Okay, so you can see it will take a few seconds depending on the size of the file that you are importing. And you can see all the uh, things have been imported properly, files, database, and completed. So then click on, um, let's go to the dashboard. Let's see our website right now, okay? Now you can see um, our website has been successfully migrated and you can see instead of the default post, you can see the migration test post I created before migrating up this website. So this is how you migrate your WordPress website. It can be pretty easy or sometimes it can be really complicated. If this do not works for you, okay, so you will have to switch, you want to switch back to your previous hosting. Uh, you will again have to go to Namecheap or GoDaddy or whatever domain registry you're using and update the name server and wait. For a few hours till the name server update process is complete and then you will have to try to uh, export and migrate again okay so this can be a little complicated if your website size is really big okay so if you have bought hosting a hosting using my affiliate link so you can email me at bestwpguides@gmail.com um, explaining your problem that you are what error you are getting and your website size and all the details okay and you will have to mention when you bought the hosting and for how many months and other details so i can verify that you actually bought the hosting using my affiliate link and i will help you migrate the website okay so this is an extra benefit you get for using my affiliate link and if you manage to migrate your website successfully then um, you will have to go to the um, this hosting a panel again and if you may watch my other tutorials about how to config configuring emails ssl certificate and everything else okay so i hope you guys found this tutorial useful and do let me know post in the comments uh, if they, i can improve anything or if you're getting an error or if you need any other help so that's it for this video and i will see you in the next video